I first read the script before I read the novel, but I read the script about 10 years ago in an earlier iteration um, of the film, and uh, that clearly never got made. Um, when I, after I read that, the script then, I read the novel. Um, and yes, I'm a fan of it, um, but I, I had found it through the script. Uh, I was very moved by her, and I found her journey to be very poignant. Um, uh, I think she's someone who struggles with perception, people's perception of her. Um, I think she believes that she is worth something more than people say she is. Um, but then, because of the changes in her, things that happen in her life, I think she starts to doubt herself. And I think she's devastated by um, uh, the experiences that that they go through as a family, um, and by the violence that comes from her daughter, and by the rejection of her love that comes from her daughter. And in the end, she kind of becomes this thing that she never wanted to be. And I found that kind of that cycle very poignant and sort of tragic. It was pretty fun. Um, he was nice to work with uh, in both capacities, I think. I'd actually had that experience once before because I made um, a movie called Pollock that Ed Harris had directed. So, um, and I had, had enjoyed that experience then as well. Um, I don't know, you know, certainly I've worked with directors who are fabulous to work with as an actor who have not been actors themselves, so I hate to make kind of generalized statements. But I will say that the actors clearly that I've worked with who have, you know, actor directors that I have worked with have a, an understanding and an empathy for actors and, um, and an interest in collaborating with actors. Well, I, I always think it's great to go into a project with, you know, go into an experience of um, watching a film with an open mind, um, because I think this is the kind of project that will impact people uh, in different ways and speak to them on different levels. Um, I think in terms of the politics and the themes of the movie, yeah, I think that some of the conversations that are raised are things that we're still discussing today. Um, some of the um, issues of um, bias, of uh, inequality, of social injustice, um, those are things that are happening in the, in the film that unfortunately are still uh, very much uh, in the news today. Um, Dawn is someone who I think kind of greets things head on. You can see that from the first scene that she has with um, Lou, Seymour's father, where she really stands up to him and, um, and takes him on board. And I think when um, Mary makes it clear that she wants nothing to do with her parents and that she rejects them and rejects what they stand for and rejects their love, um, she takes it on. It completely shatters her. Uh, and she tears everything else down that's left standing after that experience. And, um, and ultimately, in order to survive, has to build something new. Um, I think Seymour is someone who avoids confrontation. Um, and I think he avoids um, acknowledging that acknowledging that change and really taking that change on board and he's someone who um, chases the past and his memories um, and um, and dreams that that he can have her back I think it's a very moving portrait of a family that we think only good things will happen to this family um, and then everything goes um, very wrong and uh, it's it's a it's a heartbreaking story I think um, looking at um, parents who just want to uh, protect and do well for their child um, who then unfortunately they they lose and they're left to wonder where they went wrong um, it's also a very thought-provoking story that's um, explores some interesting themes.